This is Ignite Success. I'm your host, Snowden McFall, professional speaker, six-time author, and coach. And with me today is Kathleen Schofield. She is the executive director of the Northeast Florida Regional STEM 2 Hub. Did I get that right? You sure did. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about what that is because you were explaining to me that STEM 2 originally started as STEM squared. Yes, correct. And that's because STEM we traditionally think of as a blend of science, technology, engineering, and math. Right. But because we're focused here in Jacksonville, we squared that M for medical. Oh, which is wonderful. Yes, Jacksonville is such a destination for the finest health care. And we really wanted to acknowledge that and make sure that we're getting kids ready for the careers in medicine as well as the other STEM fields. Well, this is fabulous, and I know that Gary Chartrand had a lot to do with the starting of this. Can you speak to that? Absolutely. Gary Chartrand, with his business background and his education background through his service on the State Board of Ed, mm -hmm. he realized that there was a gap between what our school systems, K-12, K-20, we're preparing kids for and then the needs of the mm. workforce. Mm. So what I most admire about him is instead of just complaining about it, right. he said, I'm going to roll up my sleeves and do something mm -hmm. about this. Mm -hmm. So he visited with other businesses that are headquartered here and they came together and formed a board and said, let's fund this, let's work together and let's empower our schools to really know what those gaps are that we're seeing and empower them to give the kids the skills they need to be ready for the workforce. So that's wonderful. So how long have you been in existence? So we've been in existence since 2015. Okay, so four years now. Four years now, yes. And I was in Clay County as oh. the STEM supervisor when the STEM Hub started. Ah. So I immediately started working with the STEM Hub on the initiatives like computer science and robotics. And then eventually Gary recruited me to come over and help with the bigger picture across our region. And you're housed at UNF, is that right? I have um, a courtesy appointment at oh, UNF. Great. Yes, yes, that's yes. wonderful. And they're such a great partner. They are, they are. And I know uh, Diane Yandel Hoppy is a big fan of what you all are doing. And I'm a fan of hers. <laughs> <laughs> and she's helping you promote uh, the robotics part, is that right? And coding? Absolutely. UNF College of Education is our regional partnership with a global organization called Code.org. Mm. And that was again formed by industry, right. where they decided if we really want to empower all learners, the girls, those underrepresented in the tech fields, to be part of the solution for the world we're building, yes. then they had to also do something about it. So they started Code.org to give every child the opportunity to learn how to code and to empower teachers to know how to mm. teach those skills to kids. Mm. Oh, that's wonderful. And you have a documentary too, don't you? We do. Um, again, Gary looked at this work that has happened and the transformation across our region and he felt that we really had an obligation to tell the story yes. and share the power of the partnerships mm. and the power of working together as a STEM learning ecosystem, so to speak. And so we started working on a documentary that will be airing um, in September. Oh, that's terrific. And so it tracks students and what they've been doing and how they've been successful and gone on to business. Is that what it does? What we do is we kind of tell the story of business involvement. We spotlight some schools uh. where the programs are amazing. And yes, we do a deep dive into some student success stories that have come out of our work. And, and roughly how many students have gone through this program? Oh my goodness, since we work across seven counties right. and we work in the school day, in the summer and out of the summer, we're easily impacting through different programs over 100,000 children at this point. Wow, that's wonderful. It's, it's opportunities that they just wouldn't have had mm. without Gary and his vision and the vision of our board to say, Let's dig in. Let's make sure every child gets the opportunity to code a robot, to learn some coding, and to have STEM experiences. They may not all go into that field, but if they don't know what's available, they could never possibly have exactly. a chance. Exactly. Exposure is so important. It is. It really is. Wow, that's so exciting. So where could people learn more about this hub? To learn more, they can visit our website, stem2hub.org 
or they could call 904-502-0958 and they can get information that way. Terrific. Well, you're doing a fabulous job and your passion is so evident. I'm sure it's contagious to all the students you work with. Oh, thank you so much, Snowden. Thank you for being here. <laughs>